Hi guys, Sims here and welcome to another um, tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering After Effects, but first I just want to say something. Um, we've managed to rack up 300 subscribers over the last couple of weeks, which is amazing. Uh, I just want to thank you all for supporting us so far, and um, we've got a lot more to come. Um, to say thanks, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, nice thrown grenade effect to use in your montages, which I use on the Brandon uh, montage, so here's a preview of what it looks like at the end. Hopefully we can get a nice looking in this. So, yeah, that looks pretty cool, I think. Um, it's supposed to flush red on the fatality, but for some reason it's not. But, um, yeah, hopefully uh, by the end of this tutorial you'll be able to get something similar looking as this. Um, I'll put some download um, links in the description so you can get the explosion effects and stuff because they only come with the action essentials package. So, yep, stay tuned guys, and we'll get, we'll get um, cracking with this. Alright guys, so let's get started with this. First things first, you want to open up After Effects, obviously. And then you want to go to Composition, New Composition, make it 720 by 720 because we want to be using this in HD clips. And we want to call the composition, say, Grenade. Alright, next thing you want to do is you want to click on the black solid, and you want to do Layer, New Solid, and then we want to go to make it a white composition. We want to call it the actual, we want to call it uh, say HUD. And then we want to make it 720 by 720 so we can keep it HD. Click OK, and now we get this horrible white square in the middle. Don't worry. What you want to do is come to Tools and click on the rounded rectangular tool. Click in the middle, holding Control and Shift to expand it outwards, and we hold it till it's about here. What we want to do now is keep this set to Add. And we want to make another mask, so Control D on this mask, or you can do Edit and Duplicate. And you want to change the second mask to Subtract. This like, uh, takes all of the fill out of the mask, and it allows us to do this. We want to bring the mask expansion down to give us this nice inner sort of crust to our um, HUD. What we want to do next is we want to feather it out, so we get this sort of effect, and maybe bring the expansion in a tiny little bit more, so it's not as bold. So that's looking pretty nice. I uh, want to go back to our normal tool, select tool, which is a shortcut for V, or you can just select it from your tools panel. And then you want to um, make our grenade itself. So what we do now is we go and minimize this. And we want to bring in um, this sort of pattern. I'm going to put this in the. I'm going to put a download for this in the description. But basically, some sort of metal, or you can use any other texture to make for your grenade. All right. Now what we're going to do is drag this over After Effects and drop it into the Project Media Selection. Drop this down into our timeline, as so, and we want to resize it quite significantly. So hold Shift to maintain the ratio. And then up here, we want to type in Sphere. Now there should be CC Sphere. This comes with um, After Effects if you buy it, but if not, you're going to have it watermarked. So you need the full version of this if you're going to want it to look nice. Um, now what we're going to do is scale this down again to the size that you want it. Alright, so that's looking pretty nice. And to get a nice colour on it, a nice um, grenade sort of greeny colour, we want to go Effect, Colour Correction, and come onto the curves. First of all, we want to bump the green up significantly. And we want to maybe drop it down, and we want to bump it as much as we can really. And then we want to bring down, say, the red to give it a more... Uh, more more texture and maybe the blue as well. Uh, that's a bit too green to be honest. Let's bring the red look back up a little bit as well. And then we can go in the RGB, bump it up, and then bump the other side down. And that gives us this nice sort of darkish sort of green that looks more of the grenade texture. I, I couldn't really find a good texture for a grenade, so this is what I um, sort of compromised and went for. All right, guys. So um, this is the more trickier part now. Um, in your sphere, we have this thing called rotation, and basically we want to set an expression to this so it always remains at a constant speed. Because at the moment, as you can see, the ball does nothing when I move across the timeline. All right, so I've got this saved, and I'll put it down in the description for you to use. And basically, it will give it um, some rotation, so give it some life. So what we want to do is come to the uh, X rotation on the CC sphere, do Alt click. And we want to paste that expression in there and just click out. Now, as you can see, when I skim through, the, the grenade spins. Now, it's on 360 degrees at the moment, 
and we don't want that that's a bit too fast so I think I had it down on about 45 degrees for this and that means it spins a nice, a nice bit slower um, we also want to assign this to the Y axis and maybe the Z as well and also make this a 3D layer um, to give it some uh, more depth alright paste this paste expression again changing the um, velocity so maybe 25 degrees or 20 degrees on this and then same on the Z rotation and I'm probably going to put that only down at about 10 because I don't want it having some crazy sling of speed on it so let's go for about 7 now if we skin this through you see that our grenade actually rotates um, I know it looks pretty naff when I'm buffering through but when it actually texturizes it looks okay <coughs> right now what you want to do is you want to add um, some positioning things to it so we'll set a keyframe or auto keyframe here we'll come down to our grenade and we'll press P alright so here our position is absolute oh we want to do we want to do um, sorry we want to do scale first so hit S and we'll start it large and as we move through a few frames we're going to keep making it smaller so just bear with me while I make this a little bit I keep um, rescaling this excuse me for being a little bit retarded and missing the actual square on the box This is actually, I've actually set my comp up over the period of about 30 seconds, so this will actually go really slow. But what I did last time is when it went really slow, is I just set it up on um, Sony Vegas and just stretched the channel so it went to the right speed. So, as you can see, guys, this is sort of moving through nicely. Um, it's got rotation on it and it gives it a bit more life. What I want to do now to make it look like I'm throwing it over a building or something is we want to come to position and we want to animate that so delete any keyframes that are in there at the moment and maybe make you a starting one actually and then just move through and as the ball changes you move the position so say this Oop, let's move it a bit far Oop. so I'm so, such an idiot sometimes aren't I And you can really get as creative as, with this as you like, guys. You can make it bounce off walls and stuff. Maybe add in some wall textures just to make it have a bit more life or whatever you want to do. But as I'm doing here, just moving through till I get about to the 30 seconds mark. And then I'm just going to make it suddenly drop. And then it's just going to sit there. So when I skim through now, we have the sort of throwing of the ball. And then it comes down. So it actually looks like it's been launched now. It's got some life in it. <coughs> so this is the fun part when we start putting all of our text in. What we want to do first is we want to come over to our text tool. And we want to click on the screen. And we want to put all of our text in first. So I'm going to have a um, square bracket. And then I have like grenade. Um, I hate this. I, I need to put my tool panel back to where it's meant to be. Because it's just annoying me sitting there. Maybe put it in white text to make it more visible and drag this out a lot. Grenade. And then I'm just going to have sort of like, I'm not, I'm not going to do loads like I did on my last one because I'm just showing you guys a demo. So you can make, you can be as creative as this, with this as you like. But for now, this is all I'm going to do. So I'm going to go grenade and then I'm going to have degrees or distance. Then, uh, this is annoying me. Then, what we want to do is we're going to have some random numbers generating as well for the distance. So, or well, maybe distance isn't the best thing to say, but hey. So, say we're going to put like here in 4, 5, 4, 4, 3, 7, 8, 9, and 0. Just a load of gibberish like this. 
then we're going to move that, just scale it down slightly. Come back. Right. And to move that. V to move it in. And I'm going to change the opacity down on this one a little bit. So you get T out and just bring it down a tiny bit. And I'm going to move my distance down. Alright. So in my, my original thing, all of the text sort of types itself in while this is happening. So to achieve that effect, what we need to do is... How am I doing for time? Right, I'm going to stop this, guys. And then I'm going to make the second part in another video. So I'll be back in just two minutes.